Hi everyone, Ken Magalby here with iBailey Technology and Consulting. And today I'm going to show you how to use the Salesforce One app. The Salesforce One app is a great app in order to you to be able to access your uh, internal org so that you can go in and create all kinds of new tasks, new contacts, new opportunities, new leads, uh, anything that you might be able to do in the web browser but via the mobile app. Uh, the mobile app is fairly easy to download. As you can see, I already have it downloaded here on my uh, iOS device. Uh, it, you can uh, get to the App Store and download it as a Salesforce One, Salesforce One app. You download the app and you install it. And once you install it, it's going to go ahead and ask you to uh, log into the app. One of the cool things about Salesforce is that they've integrated with a cool tool called 1Password. It's a tool that I use to be able to store all my passwords. And this here is actually a way that I'm going to be able to log into a developer account that I've created. Uh, for any of you that are out there that are looking to play around with Salesforce, get a little bit more familiar with it, or you're unable to uh, customize your version of Salesforce, you can go ahead to and go on to the Salesforce developer website and create a free account. As you can see here, I'm going to be logging into my free developer account. And um, once you log in, well, as we wait here, you can choose actually in the top right-hand corner if you're going to log into your production or sandbox instance. Uh, currently, I'm going to log into our production instance so that we can uh, cut ahead and modify and show you a few things. Um, but here, it's just asking some pretty basic information to allow, allow access to, into the internal org. Once Salesforce logs into your org, you're able to do basically anything and everything you could have done except for maybe create an account. That's one of the things that it's not originally enabled in the Salesforce One app. Uh, but as you can see here, you can see here uh, my current chatter feed, if you have chatter enabled in your organization, to see some of the things that I've been doing uh, just in my uh, developer account to be able to play around. But I want to show you a few things that you're able to do within uh, the Salesforce One app. Over here on the left-hand side, you hit the top menu in the top left. And here you can see a lot of the uh, general things you see in your standard taskbar on, uh, in your instance of Salesforce, either if you're in the Lightning or if you're in the classic version. And so. Here you can go ahead and go into the different opportunity, the different accounts. Uh, as you can see here, I have a corporation called ABC Corp. See all the information. You can see contacts. You can see you can create new contacts. You can go here, create a new contact. This is kind of a little lengthy way, but one of the cool things is is that say you're out with a client, say you're out on a golf course, and you get chatting. And you say, oh, this guy might be a really good opportunity. So when you first log in, it'll log in here. And here in the right-hand corner, there's a new way that you can actually create, um, say, a new lead. So let's say you meet a gentleman, and you've already got his contact info. You send him a text message. And let's see if this is going to work. And you can actually just go in and add him in. And here, he says his name is John Adams. His email is john.adams at brave moose whatever his email, email.com. Phone his company. Uh, let's say he works for ABC Corp, which we have as one of our corp corporations. And you don't need a title, and he'll hit save. Once that is now added, you can go ahead and see that the new context has been created. And we can go over here to the left-hand side and see that our contacts are now here. And here's John Adams. see his detail, his feed, maybe some things that he's done. He hasn't done anything yet in our org, uh, that sort of thing. And one of the cool things that I really like about the Salesforce One app, especially for me, is Chatter. Chatter is one of the greatest ways to be able to chat with people in your organization. And you can get notifications from people who app mention you. Um, An app mention is just the and sign. But it's fairly simple to create a post here. So say I wanted to call somebody who's in my organization. I have a, name, a guy whose name is Joe Doe. And we can say, hey, Joe, I found this new lead. And his name is John Adams. Can you follow up? And you can send this off, and then that in, that individual, will, as soon as you send that, that chatter manager, if he has the Salesforce One app, he will get a notification in the top right-hand corner letting, me know, letting him know that he has to have an app mention. Um, other things that you can do within the Salesforce One app, you can add files, you can add pictures, you can create new opportunities. I mean, it really is endless. And you can go in and you can have your admin, or if you're doing this yourself, uh, you can go ahead and customize anything that you want to be able to do within your organization. Um, 
And I have found that having the Salesforce One app on my phone has been one of the most fundamental things and be able to stay connected with the different orgs or different things that are happening, you know, or say you have a bug that's going on, you know, so you can say, hey, uh, let's let's talk to the general product feedback and say, hey, uh, I had an issue with XYZ. And then whoever the general product feedback that's in your org or whoever that individual is will then get back to you. It's it's a really fantastic app, and I highly suggest that everyone in the organization, if you're looking to have this functionality, uh, this is a very basic setup of what you can do, but you can see that the opportunities are endless. Uh, and I hope that uh, you liked uh, the video, and I look forward to uh, maybe posting some more for you later on. Thanks so much.